हेलो दोस्तों टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट एमआरपी वर्सेस पीपीडीएस प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड एज आई हैव सम एक्साइटिंग ऑफर फॉर यू एट द एंड ऑफ वीडियो लेट्स डू अ सिंपल ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ ईच डिफरेंस एंड गिव यू रियल वर्ल्ड बिजनेस एग्जांपल्स मेरे भाई कोई टेंशन मत लो आई विल एक्सप्लेन दोस फैंसी वर्ड्स लाइक ह्यूरिस्टिक्स एंड फाइनेट कैपेसिटी इन अ सिंपल वे चलो भैया शुरू करते हैं लेट्स टॉक अबाउट फर्स्ट डिफरेंस द प्लानिंग अप्रोच MRP usually assumes infinite capacity meaning it thinks machines can handle unlimited workloads at the same time it just calculates how many materials you need and when but not whether your machines or people might be overbooked PPDS on the other hand considers finite capacity finite means there's a limit it checks if your machines can handle it at that time let's try to understand with a business example imagine you run a bakery MRP might say bake 500 cupcakes by 5 p.m. without caring if you have only one oven. PPDS will say, "Wait, you have only one oven, so you better start earlier or plan to bake bake on another oven." Samjhe? This is big difference, dosto. Dosto, let's talk about second key difference, setup time planning. But before jumping in, let's try to understand some basics of setup time planning. Setup time is gap that needed to prepare a machine and changing it's set up from one product to another product let's imagine our factory produces different kind of transparent and colored bottles both on the same machine if we switch from making one transparent bottle to another transparent bottle our setup time is just 10 minutes but if we move from transparent to colored that jumps to 20 minutes and going from one colored run to a different colored run can take up to 15 minutes if we are constantly jumping between colored and transparent bottles we spend more time cleaning recalibrating and swapping out parts instead of actually producing bottles by using a planning system that understands these different setup times we can arrange longer runs of similar products cut down on changeovers and maximize our output dosto now let's come back to difference mrp doesn't provide planning outcome to reduce or optimize setup time it will just plan the order in same way as demand comes however PPDS respects the setup matrix between the products and provide optimized plan by reducing setup time. This is called setup time planning. Now let's come to the next difference. Have you ever had a machine breakdown or go for service? MRP does not change plan based on machine under breakdown or taken for preventive maintenance. But PPDS, it precisely blocks out the period when the machine is under maintenance. So no new orders sneak in during that time. Let's try to understand with a business example. Let's say your main mixing tank is offline for cleaning every Monday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. MRP might not catch that exactly. PPDS will ensure no batch is scheduled in that slot. Bhai, that's super handy. That brings us to next difference and that is scheduling. MRP provides us planned orders, but it does not do precise scheduling to level the capacity. That is separate manual step we need to do by doing capacity leveling. but ppds says if the machine's full we push the plan out or find another time slot it can do scheduling precision at hour or minutes or even at seconds level but for that you need to make sure configure ppds system correctly and input correct master data let's try to understand same with a business example if you get an urgent order for an extra 1000 t-shirts on a printing press ppds checks whether the press is available If not it reschedules or ask you to shift. MRP just lumps everything together. Samjhe? Next difference. MRP typically does top down planning. That's okay. You start from the final product and explode down to components. But if a key component is delayed, MRP does not consider that delay to fix planning for semi finished or finished products. However, PPDS has heuristics. Heuristics means planning with some special rules and algorithm. that let you do bottom up or top down planning to fix your finished material schedule due to raw material details let's have a look at quick business example if your motor supplier says shipping is delayed by 2 days ppds can automatically shift the final assembly date mrp might not handle that recheck as neatly are wah genius stuff mere bhai interchangeability means you have alternate materials or parts mrp doesn't automatically swap them if you run out of one PPDS can do that for example if your usual chemical is out of stock but you have an equivalent brand PPDS can plan the switch so production keeps rolling dosto no halts in the production line 
But MRP cannot do that interchangeability while planning shelf life. MRP sees them like any normal stock. PPDS can factor in an expiration date, so near expiry batches are used up first. Let's try to understand with a business example. Let's say we have demand of 100 for month of June, and we have a batch in stock with quantity 100, but this batch has expiry date of April. MRP, in this case, will not propose any new planned orders. It is not able to consider that batch will expire in April and cannot be used for June demand. However, PPDs in this case will consider that quantity in stock will expire by April and we will be required to produce fresh batch to fulfill demand of June. MRP basically lists planned orders. That's it. PPDS though can give you an interactive gaunt chart. Drag, drop, see capacity conflicts in color. Are wah. It feels like you're controlling the shop floor from a video game. MRP has very limited planning algorithms. It cannot handle complex planning situations where you need to apply one logic after another to resolve planning problems. However, PPDS has multiple different planning algorithms, which is called heuristics, which can be run one after another to fix complex planning situations. So when do we pick MRP or PPDS? MRP we should pick for straightforward repetitive manufacturing. It has a shorter planning horizon if you don't need to worry about every little detail. PPDS you should use if you need a planning system, which can give you detailed production schedule considering your capacity constraints and complex business problems, or when you have limited machines and a tight timeline. Dosto, that's the breakdown of each difference point by point. Shukriya for tuning in. I hope now you see why MRP might be good for simpler stuff, while PPDS is like the advanced champion. Want to kickstart your journey in SAP PPDS? Simply comment SAP PPDS below and we'll send you the link to free downloadable. SAP PPDS Implementation Configuration Book.